Hey hey hey, my name is Polish Links and welcome to another episode of Don't Forget Our Esports Dream. I I'm actually surprised I still am able to remember the title. Also, big plus, there is a clock with indicators. I no under I still don't understand why there are a lot of VNs that have clocks on the walls, but those clocks don't have VN uh, don't don't have indicators. I honestly don't understand that, but whatever. <clears throat> so, one, if you of us are going to be to the battling cages tonight, want to join? Help us. Try on Kadair working on a map specific tactic, going to stay late tonight and grind. Oh, alright. Here's his reshooting promos for the final. Let's do it tonight, so close up when you're done. He throws up a hand on his way out alongside the last of our other teammates. When they're gone, I toss my head back and let out a long groan. Uh, 10 hours I'm ready to collapse. I must be getting old. I expect Jet to bite back with a quip about my work ethic, but she doesn't. We pride ourselves on our long practice hours, but there's no doubt they are slowly killing us. It was easier when we were younger. It's true, it's true, it was easier when you were younger. Same can be said about uh, recording, really. Anyway, I'm not convinced that all players retire because they have worse reaction time. It must be that we have less tolerance for absurd conditions as we get older. Stop looking like looking at me like that. I can complain in the privacy of your company, can't I? If you don't mind looking a little pathetic, I don't disagree with you, by the way. Yuna said something to me the other day about banning Hagwon. What if the KPGA banned practice for more than 8 hours a day? Totally unenforceable. We play at a lower level and show worse games. Would we really fall? How much better is it for the game that we nail a macro cycle 10 for the second faster? Especially if the trade-off is a reasonable life for the players. I cannot even comprehend the hypothetical world you've envisioned here. It's a feeling I try to ignore. How much things could be better for everyone if not for insurmountable tariffs? I mean, it's better for you and me like this, I just have this vague guilt about it. Let me try again. What's more important, the means or the ends? I'd have more admiration for a super skilled hermit who never competes than for some chobo who coin flips his way into qualifying. But don't get me wrong, we play to win the game. Right, to win again and again, you have to care less than someone who only thinks of how to win the match right in front of them. I see what you mean, that's true, but it's not a contradiction. Do you know who Ryu is, Sun Kwan, from Street Fighter? Yes, I do. I never played that game. What? Well, when you win with Ryu, they show a ceremony for his victory. His fans are waiting for him, but he never arrives. Then they show him walk and lonely road with something like seeking his next challenge. The ceremony means nothing. The fight is everything written beneath. I don't know if there was an especially wise Japanese guy working on the end game, or if that's a common character refrain, but it's a truth that every pro gamer should pursue. We mean the same thing when we say that we want to show good games. No, we don't. You can show a good game if you lose, even if you lose. But when the fight is over, you have to be stand standing at the end of it. The joy of landing a perfect punch square on someone's face. Ah, wait, maybe that's too violent. Okay, let me put it in a way I know you'll get. When you land the perfect sea storm, it's more. I then I don't understand it now. It's more than just knowing how much damage it did or how much it helped you win. You feel it, don't you? I get a feeling in a losing game too. If I go into a battle that I'm favored to lose, it feels better to go down swinging than to let him roll me. But if you lose, that means you got punched more than you landed punches. You feel that too? Can you switch to a racing metaphor? Look, this is hard to talk about. They don't teach it in any school that I know about. And most people who have figured it out won't share it. Work with me here. We can make no mistakes and still lose. It probably isn't true, but that's how I felt like my games against Zen went. Except that, on my end, there is nothing I could have done to beat Fierce. 
How can you say that, especially after you beat Luck? Don't you get what I'm saying? Losing without fault does make it okay to lose. Did you limp into a match with Luck and walk out the winner? What? No, if you actually watched my game, you would know that. You know that isn't fair. Then don't tell me I didn't deserve my win against Kijun. Why don't you see for yourself? I've got the pre place right here. Watch them. I didn't say that, and I don't think it... Chaeyoung scoops up the pro keychain, drops it back into my hand. A guy like Gears can break down barriers by force of will. Not because he's especially strong, but because he's too stupid to know that it shouldn't be possible. I see it all the time in successful people, but I'm sure that for every fears, there's a or more who bash themselves against their walls until they drop dead. That's what I hate, that we can dispel the whole fog by compa- com com by complaining that it's all around us, as we can do is push ahead. Logan vs. the unknown to find his certainty, why can't we? We can, but only once we've been where he has. I stuff the keychain back into my pocket. When I say nothing, she turns back to her PC. Run it again! Tired! I'm tired! Two more clumping sound in the practice test means hello, oh, you're almost dead. Stop. Oh, hello, you know, I've been working hard. Look at how tired been so is. I bet she hasn't slept for two days. Ah, give me back! Fool, now the time with the hands of the capable master. <laughs> I'll decimate this club and claim it as my kingdom. Zergers, forever! Wow, you know, you're really good at voices. Next time, say for the swarm instead. I don't know what came over me. I wish some of the other club members had showed, but I'll forgive them with practice exams so close. You sent the tapes, right? Yep! And thanks for all the help with my resume. I had no idea you could turn so much experience into two pages of bracking. The all out attack footage should push your audition video over the top. Make sure you shop it around just in case. Maybe I'll send it to VSL! Ah, oh, wait! It's about time for Hug One! Ready to go! I want to get some decent food first. I'm tired of the junk my tutor gives us during breaks. But we're going to be late! Who cares? Let's go! Wow, she changed. Ah, huh? wait! She changed, good. The last before the end of our route, neither of us can resist stepping up the pace as we win around it. The winner earns a pointless victory etched eternally on a mental chalkboard amid a thousand others. It's time, it's me, I skip to a stop and then double oversighted. Jet wipes her forehead with her shirt and gives a breath. I watch her with my hands atop my head. <sighs> one more. This was the second one more, we should leave some time before the press event. She grumps her disagreement but steps off the starting line. I'm sure she shares the resentless I'm feeling about tomorrow's Team League semi final. We polished our build for days. Enough such that there's practically nothing left to do except pray it works. It's still beneficial to grind out standard practice, but when these kind of nerves are clawing at us. It's not just that Shock T1 is counting us for a win or that this is Jet's first televised match in almost a year. It's about us. We are an us. <laughs> Everything we've been through should give me confidence that she feels the same way. Fear that she doesn't is all that's kept me from confirming it. Can I be honest about something for a sec? I really hate Shock T1's team jacket, don't you? <laughs> uh, it's not bad, I don't think green is your color. She looks good in it, for. I just don't like it. I had to get it off my chest. Something about it. Makes remember a different time. You know, I haven't seen you talk to anyone outside of practice. I'm not like Sinta, I mean, Socializing doesn't come naturally to me. But you don't hold back when you have something to say there. Yet every night I watch you scientists stare down anyone who says something dumb or complains about Zerg. 
My guess is that when you open your mouth, some embarrassing thing you did or said as a 16 year old truck you want a record pops into your head and you cringe yourself silent. He made me an outsider then too. Nothing's changed. Nobody treats me differently. And he's not going to until I prove that I'm different. It's not I like I really care and I already know how to fix it. And I won't bother you about it again. That's the most reasonable thing you've said all week. Huh. Thank you, Bob! She bows hardly and tiptoes out of line to make with the rest who waited. A small package of sweets left as her thanks for my signature. Four fingers wave back and smile shyly when I offer my farewell. I'm not going far, but another player's been waiting for my spot at the signing table. A few tables down my right, Jets barely chipping away the line of two dozen or so. Aside from a few young girls here with their parents, almost all of her fans are men. I'm jealous. Early one tried to get Jet to sign something that made her mad. I didn't get a good look, but when Cha Young yelled at him, he ran away. Huh. Fun events like this are usually a little less chaotic. It's either the top players or the top few teams instead of both. I guess whatever charity the KPGA is working with wanted a maximum star power. Fierce's line wins far back past the escalators. Seated right next to him, Locke waits coolly before nearly as many fans. Which is kinda surprising. Coach Park steps into my field of view. When his eyes turn in my direction, I greet him with a tilt of my head. He says nothing. I meant to steal for my laugh when he throws and steps away. Jet finally polishes off her last knife and practically throws the pen down. She is quick to bow and read from the table, then joining with me with a hoof. <sighs> All the usual suspects and then some. You had like 40 months. If you're looking for sympathy, look somewhere else. It was closer to 30, and only a few were fans. Most are just... Uh, I don't know what to call them. They're just here for the novelty of seeing me again. I can't wait to see you win something so I can finally hear the end of your insecurity. You're lucky that you guys who aren't me haven't figured it out yet. They'd pray on it endlessly. Jet stares me for a while before turning away to sit by herself. Whatever, go and sulk. I'm right about that. I turned down the hallway in search of a water fountain. Despite the number of times I've been here, I haven't explored much of them all. I find it flanked by three pro gamers, Kijung, Yonho and Jiang, standing against the wall beside the fosse. When they notice me, they quiet their conversation in favor of a greeting. Ah, it's Sukwan, enjoying the spotlight. Shouldn't I be? Only gets better from here. They laugh at my curt reply while I take my drink. Locke simply watches. Yeah, I see you found some gadgets. I can't blame you. Those fans of yours were cured. Sukwan's handsome, so it must, must, it must be enough for you. Just like Locke, you can't appreciate them like the rest of us do. I ain't getting into this for the fans. They're not that important to me, frankly. Well, that makes sense. You have Chai Young Song following you around after all. When you put it that way, maybe he's the one following her. Enough! Log brushes Young aside. He quiet, stepping out of the way. Excuse them, Sunquan. We've been stressed to perform lately. So, has everyone else. Is there anything I really have to say to Log? I have every right to hold a grudge for what he did. While just talking to him like this reminds me of the times I still look back at Fondi. Then with what I now know, my instinct is to blame anyone but him. Maybe it's better that I don't get involved with bo for both our sakes. I know he has struggles of his own. Something behind me suddenly catches the attention of my three former teammates. I turn to see for myself. Vice Chairman Cho marches towards us with purpose and a low level KPGA admin at his flank. The former struggles to keep up with his superior space. Lee, I need to speak with these three. Please excuse us. Uh, yes, sir. Kijung steps off the wall without pause. Both Jank and Yon Ho glance my way before turning to stare up at Vice Chairman Cho, like mice. I catch just a bit of what the Vice Chair has to share with Lok, Yon Ho and Jiang before I head off. You three should be aware of certain changes planned for Renown. Your loyalty and skill have earned you. Huh. Another long evening spent in the ocean of Brood War, after the press event Jet and I put in that last bit of polish to our build before making the walk back to the team house together. She's quiet and has been all night, anything I bring up under to Starcraft, she answers a quiet hoop and no elaboration, until now. Sun Quan. 
I look up and notice the distance between us. She waits just before the crosswalk. Uh, sorry. But when I catch up with her, she does turn. Let's be honest with each other for a minute. I've been almost entirely alone for the past four years. My dad's gone and my mom barely looks at me when I go home. God, I'd been clinging to an old classmate just to have someone to talk to. You called me a bored and lonely girl. You were right, I was lonely. Was. All I can think is that this will all be over soon. We lose or we fail or one of us will get caught. That's not true. Can you really promise that? You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or the day after that. I just want to know if we're real out of each other. It's not the insults. I can take them if I have to. But when I tell myself you don't really mean them, I worry that the promises I do want to believe aren't either. You will not nasty. Alright! We only hang out because it's convenient for you. That's always been the case. When you need practice or help scamming PC blankets, you knew I'd say yes. We're adults now, professionals. I can accept the fact without letting it bother me. We work well together, not to. So you've been doing me a favor, is that it? Or are you guarding me so that another guy can fight my insecurities or whatever the hell you said? I wouldn't stay involved if I didn't like you. As if you didn't know! How'd I? If you weren't so guarded all the time, I might. Is everything alright, young lady? To a right a woman in a magne magenta tracksuit with frizzy black hair and jokes in place towards us coarsely. I right, she behind her thick rimmed glasses with my direction. Sup. She's not the only passport watching us clearly. We choose a bad place and the worst volume of her is discussion. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, we're fine, there's no problem. Ah, uh, we? Ah, uh, good grief, don't settle for a man who won't speak to a lady with respect. Ah, uh, God's happened to you, though, yeah. The one backwards walk. Backwards walks. Wait, what? Probably backward walks. Yeah, without giving Chai Young the time to refute her assumption. With the rest of the nearby pedestrians staring on, Jay takes my sleeve and pulls me away. As if I could stand so much time around a trash person like you otherwise. She ignores my attempts to break out of her grip. Only once, Jet pulls me all the way through the crosswalk and to a side street, does she slow. I don't know what I'd do without someone I can be myself around. I trust you, Sun Quan, and I try to show it. But you never show that you trust me. You don't have to, but I want you to. Let your mask down for a change, even if it's just around me. Ahead of every other feeling I have for you is admiration. It isn't your play, and you're not like the Seven Kings, not the other way, but you're tough, pushy in a good way. You're bad at this. Yeah, I know. Maybe, but that's how I feel, okay? And I will never ask you to change. Uh, if you're expecting that to soften me up on you, think again. We've got these 2 versus 2 XSL qualifiers and then Team League Final all back to back. There's no slowing down from here. And you know, you do a fine job of pushing me too. But the push isn't what she needs most. She needs a win. And will deliver. Ah, it's so crappy! <laughs> Yuna guards from behind. Her long arms and mean glare primed to discourage anyone from pushing past us. <laughs> we don't get good seats. Look. I point out myself and Yuna is in the midst of a hundred others playing to the studio. To Tonight's packed to the point where they will have to turn some people away. Yet yeah, the some final audience is just a speck in comparison to the one for the grand final. Almost a hundred thousand like viewers showed up to an aircraft hangar stuffed with bleachers for last season's Team League showdown. The stadium venue this season isn't as exciting, but probably less of a logistical nightmare. If tonight goes well, I finally get to enjoy the Team League final from the stage. They must have been waiting in line all night! Minso can sit still as she grabs the seat towards the front. She waves excitedly to us, and we return the favor. Man, look at this crowd! Fear steps to my side with his eyes forward. Move squads wait on huge two tier benches on opposite sides of the studio. A few of the F1 guys look nervous, but most look like they're enjoying the spectacle as much as Fear is. Axel, especially. Think it will go to an ace match? I hope so, I want to throw down with Yunki. But we should put it away before that if we can. 
An older lady in the audience did our bench ways for fears when he noticed her. He runs to hug her and soon they are inseparably in conversation. He is annoyingly confident. I think he's earned that right. Yeah, yeah, he has. Hmm. I check my phone to find the text from Cynthia, something that's become a somewhat common occurrence. We can trip to Osaka, and would you believe I've got XBCDB in my hotel room? I've been watching so that loose. Jet twitches like she wants to crane her neck and look, so I turn my phone to show her. Ah, uh, she keeps sending me pictures of food. I really don't get it. Send one back. When all we eat is team house food, not that I'm complaining, it just doesn't compete with her richness. And how about photo of us if we win? Ah, uh, okay. When we... Not if! When we win! And that's happening tonight! After we win! The photo after we win! Exactly! With the audience filled to the last seat, plus a few standing in the back, it's time for the match between Shock T1 and AF1 to start. The XSL team roars to life, shortly followed by the voice of commentator. Hello and welcome to the XSL Team League semi-final! In tonight's match between Shock T1 and AF1, you only one can unseat the sword and send shockwaves throughout the realm of esports! Here his two co-commentators carry on in Grand Dua and sweeping turns until the first game is set to begin. Here we go! We're all in this together! Three games later, only Fierce's win against some no-name on F1 has us live in this set. The four match and the need to tie this up goes to me and Jet. We don't have much to say to one another as we step backstage. We practice hard, now it's just a matter of seeing what our work was worth. Let's do this! They run dumped into ZT. What does that mean for our plan? That they are guaranteed to get aggressive, we need to scout which of us is closer to their Zerg. I let Jet guide me through the unfamiliar game of a 2 vs 2 in this past week of practice. I've learned to fear early game 2 vs 2 aggression by her seasoned hand. For good reason, the purple Zerg and brown Trump flirt with pressuring us both before finally committing to an attack. Hold your zealots there, my mutas are almost ready! I pull my attention away from the skirmish to the north to see marines and medics en route to my natural, but Jet's already there to intercept. To intercept. Get your economy online, I'll carry you as far as I can! On it! With my focus on now on pros, pylons and tech, I can't help but watch Jet on the map with her mutalisks. She and our Zerg one trade volleys from their multi-list flocks, each testing the other's micro in a fight for position. You good over there? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to storm ready so early. Just be careful with friendly fire, I'm going in now. There is friendly fire. Ooh, interesting. Jet contends with both the team Terran and Zerg armies at once as she assails Purple's expansion. As much as everyone treats 2 vs 2 like a joke, she has a real sense for the game's tempo. And you here? On the way, let's go! One, right, two, right. Hold the choke and cover my treat, right as I fly past storm in my wake. Got it, don't break. One, A, left, two, T, left. With dragons holding a choke against Terran's marines, I land two big storms on the opponent's mutalisks. Pinched off from his alley, he makes to escape. Yeah, nice storms, that was really good. A reforced band of Terran units forces me to abandon position, but that engagement gave Jet free reign of the skies. But the damage we've dealt so far has only been to the opposing Zerg. Just as Jet's been protecting me, he's been protecting his Terran ally. Behind all the skirmishes, he's got a massive army of marines, medics and vessels, strong enough that he can force Jet off her third expansion all by himself. But there's a reason that Terran doesn't usually go for marines and medics against Protoss. Low life and small size makes them extremely vulnerable to my favorite ability. Get him some Juan! 2T left! 1A left! I paint the Badfoot red with the fallen Terran! <laughs> Together we expose the weakness in their composition! Bolt my fourth! As weak as the Terran army is against mine, it remains cheap to produce an relatively mobile and dense harassment-based army isn't suited to a straight-up fight. 
She carried me this far. I need to get back and... Wait a second, a nuke? Where is it? I don't see it here. No, no, not here. You're fourth, you're fourth. Ah. No, 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 no! Play this in over. Look, he missed half her pro three bullet and... With the nuke on my cell base, distracting me for so long, the Terran player finishes off Jet's last mining base. All she has left are scraps of her army and main. So what they're going to eliminate me? You need to end this now! No, I can help you hold while rebuild. Do you still have hi Hive Tech? Yeah, but my gazers are all depleted. Depleted. Don't worry about Mutalisk anymore, just make the fighters. I won't have the resources for more than one. Buy me some time. That's not all I'll do. I'm going to hit the Zerg at least as bad as they hit you. Just don't talk over comment, okay? Get in and get out. One A left, two A left. He's abandoning the base. Finish the hatch and get out of there. He's got everything he needs to rebuild. Take some time. Can I keep pushing in? No, look at the center of the map. Pull back. That's everything he has. <coughs> That's everything he has. If we crash, the army will win. You will. With little help. I'm doing it, Sun Quan. Get in there. Jet lands a perfect plug. Zerg's little end game spell. I feel the crowd shake the XL suit in the moment. It hits almost every single of the trans units. Finish it, Sun Quan. Now. Let's go. One A left. Hold firm and push through, we've got this! Uh, two A left! The waves of terror enforcement trickle to an end! With my massive army, the only left sending jet and I punch through the center. Then we see it. Two GG's, one from each of the Zerk and Terran. We did it! We won! Yeah. Woo! That was intense! Anyway, I leave the heads of my ears, hold it overhead and then drop it onto my keyboard. I don't think when I move forward to embrace her before I can close the distance, she's open her arms for the same reason. I feel her heart rise against mine too. At least, we break. We barely separate before the she turns and marches to a raucous applause at center stage. Jet over swirl and an axe bow to the crowd's amusement. Don't call it a comeback, your queen has returned! Out of the corner of my eye, I see the vice chairman. He steps backstage behind the curtain with a shake of his head. We meet back up on the bench to share dozen high fights with our teammates. When Jet steps out of earshot, I catch a back on four from two of them. A ceremony for a two years to win? What kind of conduct is that, especially considering how hard Sung Hwan carried? Classic, classless, Jet. Before I get the chance to run and ask for that, the commentators roll back from their break. Cameras follow fierce on his way back to the booth and then Axel. Then the deciding match begins. AF1 carries Axel on their shoulders. The teammate on my right holds his face in both hands. I hear fierce apologizing to us. And it is surprising turn, AF! Once Ace conquers this land, shock to one slim league run ends here. After all that work. Relax, relax. But this is so sad. Means so bows, clutching and shaking Yuna's jacket. What a shame. We did our best. I only wish that meant we had nothing to regret. Out of the corner of my eye, I see one of our teammates waving her attention. Looks like the team van is about to leave. It's late, we should go. Ah, we should have. You then not only and heads off with me so in town. When I turn away and make for the backstage entrance, an open palm from Jet stops me. She stares in there, quiet. Our eyes meet for a long time, longer than ever before I realized something. We're not going back to the team house tonight. Huh? What do you mean? Where are we going then? Hello? Sorry, I've been busy. I know. What do you think I do all day? Of course I'm ready and I'm, am I not allowed to take one day off? Because every conversation we have is about the same thing. Yeah. I know. Sorry, I don't want to talk more. The pack of instant noodles in my grip drops to the table with the task off. Preparing them suddenly seems like too much of a bother. Have I felt the peaks or depths I saw in the faces of those players and their fans last night? All I know is relief and disappointment when they perform as expected, or fail to. I can do this and more. Huh? What? 
What was that about? Coffee's done. Perfect. Thank you. I don't. I don't drink coffee for. We refers to the practice room the morning after Shock T1's loss. Not surprised considering that most don't arrive until noon. The PCs at the team house are good for more casual warm-ups or cooldowns. Peter showed me where he hides his key in the outside office, and Jet found Coach Kang's stash of instant coffee a week ago and wisely beat her time until now. The long side the point bar and good company makes a decent enough breakfast. Uh, are you sure? Ready to get started? Yeah yeah, you were my pick. Something behind me catches her attention, I turn to see what. We dump her entire eyes, fear stands beneath the drop frame. He drops his back and Raycon on a chair and watches us. I always knew Fears was the first to arrive and last to leave type, but something tells me he was expecting us to be here. Taiwan, we're about to hop in a game. Actually, do you two have a second first? If you guys have issues with our team, I want to work through them. I understand the two of you have known each other for a while, so it's expected you'd spend most of your time together. But think about how last night went for the rest of us. After a tough loss, the only two players to go undefeated decided they've got better things to do. Sorry. After briefly staring down Jet's court apology, Fierce looks to me. We're not thinking, sorry. I want us to move past this. I'd rather be complimenting your play than chastising you. We did what we practice, that's all. I know it can be struggle to fit in sometimes, but I promise you that I'm doing all I can to look out for everyone. If you feel like we're letting you down, say so. Your honesty is vital to me. You should all I ask is that you work hard and fulfill your all. Now Jet, I've got a bunch of PvD specifics I'd like to grind out before shifting Fox to Friday's grand final against Shrink. I kick off the ground and roll my chair to her side. Without needing to look, she takes the arm of my chair and wheels me close. The only good thing about falling out of Team League is the extra time to practice for the qualifiers. Don't let anyone besides me catch you saying that. I won't, and they won't have two in the next season since the KPGA is dropping to verse 2. I do want one of those Team League spots. I'm not sure your style is great for a ZVP sniper and your other matchups aren't quite there yet. <laughs> Says who? And even if that's true, I'll learn one as a standard pick. Has Coach Kang or anyone from the KPG asked you about the exhibition matches? No, and I doubt they will. You don't get it. Except for fears, I'm a ghost to these people. Back from dead to hunt and tag them with it Hydra discs. Come to soccer with us sometime. I want our teammates to know you like it, I do. I'll race, fight, or play StarCraft with anyone. But I'm not good at soccer. It's football. I want to give them the satisfaction. Have it your way. That's always the plan. Football. It's football! Anyway, let's end the episode. And we shall continue tomorrow. For now, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you there. Bye-bye.